Hello and welcome to Excel Learning. In this video, we're going to show you how you can connect to a folder and then process multiple files with uh, multiple Excel files with the table like structures. It's going to be an easy to follow video with a simple explanation on how to use M function called Excel.workbook. So at the start, let's get familiar with the data. So if we open, so this is the folder that you're going to connect to. We have multiple files in it. We are only concerned or we are only interested in Central, East, South and West regions. All the other Excel files and these access databases and TXT files are none of our interest. And once we open an Excel file, we are only interested in this worksheet. We are not interested in any other sheets or print areas or name ranges. So let's connect to folder using Power Query from an from a blank Excel workbook. So you're gonna do get data from file from folder, and then we're gonna connect to that folder, which is a sales one, and then we'll go to transform data. Now the Power Query pops up, and first what you want to do, you want to make sure that you are using or that you are filtering only the xlsx uh, extension prior to filtering be sure to always do some kind of uh, casing so that uh, because power query is key sensitive so that you don't miss out any of the files and then you can do right click on xlsx and equals that particular uh, extension now if we were to use if we were to work with txt files we could simply use this combine files feature, which will combine everything into a single file and then allows us, allow us to create a specific, it will create for us a specific function that we can use to uh, transform all the files or all the objects inside of, of, a, of a folder. But instead, we're gonna use a different approach. We're gonna use an add column, custom column, and then we're gonna call this column Excel objects and we're going to use excel dot workbook function with the content column as an input and for the second argument we're going to select true true means we want to promote headers of each of those objects after i confirm i will receive an additional column called excel objects and for each row of that new column, excel.workbook. And for each row of that new column, we're going to do the following. We're going to extract, we're going to input the binary content or the binary uh, file, which is actually a representation of, in this row, central data center of uh, file we're going to input it into our excel.workbook function which will extract all the objects from that file and those objects are listed in this um, uh, uh, intermediate win window and we can see that central excel file holds all these kinds of objects those can be name ranges print areas tables and worksheets we are only interested in this central item and for all the other files, it does the same. It, it attacks the binary code and extracts all the objects. So once we extract all the objects from all the Excel files, we're gonna expand it. And now we'll get to the table containing all the, ta all the expanded objects from all the Excel files. Now what we can do, we can filter out using a kind kind column is an additional column Ex once we expand this excel object we receive one two four five additional columns and those columns are helper columns so that we know what we are extracting from each excel file and the kind column defines the type of the object from each excel excel file so we want to make sure that the kind is worksheet Power Query also distinguishes uh, defined name and table, 
but we are on, only interested in sheet. So right click, text filter equals sheet. Now, what we could also do, we could simply select central, east, south, and west, but we want to make this script a bit more dynamic. We know for a fact that if the table name or if the sheet name is not uh, a specific region, then it will always come with the prefix of sheet. So we can use this to create a dynamic filter with text filter does not begin with. And then we can say, okay, if it begins with sheet, eliminate that table. Once we clear everything, we can keep just the columns that we need. And then the last step is expanding the data column, which holds the actual data of each of those sheets. After we expand it, we now get all the worksheets from all the Excel files merged into a single big table. Last, what we need to do before loading it into pivot or into a table is to define the, the type. And after we have defined the type, we can load it using options, either to load it into a table, which will load that data into a worksheet or using the only create connection plus add this data to the data model, which will load the data into our uh, uh, Power Pivot data model. So this was a short video to show you how you can transform table-like structures with Excel.workbook function. In the following video, we're gonna show you how you can transform any kind of table structure or any kind of structure uh, using a custom M function. So if you like this video, please hit like, like and subscribe button. And if you have any comments, post them in the, in the, under the video and see you in the next one. Bye.